Hey guys, King Size Customs, Kevin and Creed and the man behind King Size Customs here. And, well, it's one of those videos, one of those, you know, 2021 disappearing goodbye 2021 what have you videos. Um, I know I've been kind of quiet lately. I haven't really been doing a lot car-wise. Um, my job has kind of taken a good amount of my time. And I don't know about you, but one of those jobs where you have a lot of uh, thinking and a lot of problem solving, um, it just wears me out for some reason. You know, there's, don't get me wrong, I love it. You know, it's one of the cushiest jobs I've had. Um, I like it, you know, I have weekends off. I have, uh, you know, a regular schedule of 8.30 supposedly is my starting time, even though I get in there early just because, you know, getting to a place early and doing your job early is never a bad idea, but it's 8.30 to 4.30, and, you know, again, don't get me wrong, I like what I do. Um, there's room for improvement. I'm not killing myself physically, but that being said, you know, I'm not killing myself, but it does tire me out. There is a lot of problem solving that goes on. There's a lot of dealing with uh, customers that, you know, nobody's happy to come to Superior Court. Trust me on that. Nobody's happy to come to court in general from anything to as low as, you know, a speeding ticket to... You guys can fill in the blanks. But anyway, going back. So, 2022 starts tomorrow. Um, where have I been? Well, you guys all know from previous videos... I bought a house with my mom, and well, you know, in a housing market that's so weird where everything's super expensive, you know, things kind of happened. Um, it's a great house, don't get me wrong, but it has some quirks. It needs some work. My mom knew this going in. I think she knew a little bit more about it than I did, but hey, go figure. So my mom and I have been working on the house, doing some house stuff, so it's taken some time and some money. Um, I don't go as crazy on cars as I used to because, you know, there are some other things in the works for me. Um, and I'll let you guys know when that happens. Um, other things that have been kind of keeping me down for a little bit. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. So the reason why I don't work at Goodwill anymore was I had actually gotten injured at Goodwill. Um, I've been fighting this injury for about, uh, almost two years. It's right on my leg. It is a wound that will not heal. I'm not a diabetic, but a lot of times diabetics do get this wound, these type of wounds that will not heal. A couple days ago, I went to go visit my regular doctor at the local hospital, which due to, uh, that thing... I think you all know what I'm talking about, but that thing, crazy, the hospital has gotten crazy crowded. So, anyway, trying to get me in and out as, po as fast as possible. Uh, they did an ultrasound on my legs. And, you know, not the greatest of all news, but not the worst. Um, I do, I may have to have a surgery, and it's really dependent on me. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to uh, take a vein out of my leg. Now, I know that sounds scary, but I trust my doctor. I've done a lot of research on my doctor. Found out that he graduated top of his class from a really well-respected university, uh, Vanderbilt University. Anyway, so they kind of melt the vein out of my leg. I'm wrapped up for about 48 hours. I go... Uh, they check to make sure that that vein's not clotting. If it does, they put me on a heavy-duty blood thinner for two weeks, which I'm already on blood thinners because of the way the rest of my health is. That being said, you know, it's really up to me. Either way I want to go, I mean, you know, I don't have to get the surgery, technically, the wound is technically healing. It's getting better and better and better. Problem is that there is that chance that it'll pop open. And that's part of why 
it's taken this long. It did heal once, and it popped open, and then we were so close, me and the surgeon. And then uh, saw another doctor in his place. She had some backward methods, we'll say, and it got worse. So that's really that. That's what's up with me. And the other thing is, just like everybody else, I'm pretty sure, you know, this has taken a toll on me emotionally, just everything in general, the world. So, and I know this is a channel that's primarily focused on diecast cars, but when you're not at your best, this is my feeling, when you're not at your best emotionally, you know, when you're just trying to get through day to day, your creative outlets suffer and, well, I don't want my creative outlets to suffer. So, you know, my grandfather said, God rest his soul. He's been going for a little while now and I think about him every day. But one of his sayings was, if you ain't going to do the job right, you might as well not do the job at all. So, that being said, yeah. But, I've got some stuff that I've ordered that I haven't unboxed. Um, I think I was supposed to unbox a RLC Camaro for you guys. I plan on doing that video soon. Um, you know, I miss a lot of the you guys, especially the old content creators that I kind of grew up with. It's crazy to think that we're here at 2021. I started in 2020, uh, 2013. So I've been around for eight years. Crazy to think that. But um, I appreciate all you guys. Um, I love your support, your comments. I read every comment because I'm not a gigantic channel. I don't really plan on being a gigantic channel. It is winter here in the East Coast. The weather's not great, but... I do have a workshop now at the house. Um, I also have a basement. Just need to get the heater outside in the workshop fixed. And that one's cool. Um, I'll try to do something where I can kind of give you guys a video tour of my workshop. Because it's a workshop slash man cave. So part of it is workshop. Part of it's finished with a 8 foot pool table. And I plan to have a TV out there. Uh, one of my Christmas gifts was a suitcase record player. I love the sound of vinyl, so I plan to be out there pretty often. Anyway, guys, I hope 2022 brings you, uh, you know, success, everything you're looking for. Let's hope that my 2022 is a little bit better than my 2021. I don't want to say my 2021 was terrible, but... Some things did happen, some bad things, some good things, you know? But that's just life. So, and the great thing about life is, there's always tomorrow. So, I'll check you guys later. I'll be back, I'm not going anywhere. So, anyway, have a good one guys, and happy 2022.